In many situations, when we do studio recording, we use a pop filter in front of a microphone. This will prevent a lot of plosives to be recorded and impact negatively the sound of our recording. Now, in some cases, the plosives are very hard to remove, or in some cases, you don't use a pop filter in order to prevent the plosives to be recorded within the microphone. We're going to study how the deplosive module within RX is going to help us out in order to remove this very high and intense brust of air and leave the recording intact and very natural. All right, here in Pro Tools, I have already set up a file which contains a lot of plosives that we're going to try to remove. Let's give it a listen. Plosive could be a lot of problem since they are generated by huge bursts of sounds by letters such P or B. So as you could hear in this case, the microphone is perceiving a lot of these P and B letters, um, causing a lot of trouble within the low end of the of the of the file. Now, for decades, we always try to remove this with high pass filters of course, compromising a little bit the integrity of the timbre of a sound. But with Isotope RX, we can actually focus only on the plosives contained within the recording, leaving the rest of it intact. We're gonna create a playlist, rename it. And we're gonna go into Audio Suite and choose Isotope RX Connect. Send it to repair. And here we have it. Plosive could be a lot of problem since they are generated by huge bursts of sounds by letters such P or B. All right, let's open the Deplosive module. Now the Deplosive module doesn't have a learn button. Therefore you have to mess around with the sensitivity strength and frequency limit encoder. Now the sensitivity let you determine how strong a plosive has to be before the module try to fix it. The strength instead over here controls how much of the correction is applied. So higher the strength, the more the correction we're going to hear, the more artifacts we might let in. The frequency limit instead allows you to set a sort of like crossover point that lets you set a range where the plosive frequency will be affected. So in this case, since it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's a male vocals, I'm going to put my frequency limit around 250 or something. All right. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to highlight everything, put my sensitivity at five and my strength at five. I'm going to compare this. All right. So we got the original. Plosive could be a lot of problems. And the plosive one. Plosive could be a lot of problem since they are generated by huge bursts of sounds by letters such P or B. All right, let's see if I reduce a little bit the strength. Say four. Plosive could be a lot of problem since they are generated by huge bursts of sounds by letters such P or B. All right, definitely much better. Um, I'm going to reduce the sensitivity a little bit to 4 2 and give it a compare. Plosive could be a lot of problem since they are generated by huge bursts of sounds by letters such P or B. Original audio. Plosive could be the plosive one. Plosive could be a lot of problem since they are generated by huge bursts of sounds by letters such P or B. All right, I am happy with it. So what I'll do is I'm going to render this third setting. And then what I want to do is also to see if with my spectral repair, I could fix a little bit of the initial P or B within the first sentences. So I'm going to choose my time tool. Deselect with command D. Zoom in. Command equal. Plus. Okay. So this is our plosive. 
All right, what I'll do here is trying to attenuate this very strong burst of sound with my spectral repair module. I'm gonna render this and let's see. Plosive, much better. I'm gonna go into my second plosive. It could be a lot of problems. All right here. Render this. Let's see if I've done too much because I hopefully I didn't cut the P. Could be a lot of problem since they are generated by huge breast. Okay, the of breast. are generated by huge breasts of sounds. See, in the breast, I am introducing a little bit of artifacts. That means that the selection is taking a little too much. So I'm going to go here. And maybe that's the, the, of the breast. Let's see. By huge breasts of sounds, by letter such P. Much better. Again here. By letter such P or B. The last one I have is the B. And again, as you can see here, I'm not going over the actual, um, not letter, but the actual sentence. I'm enhancing, actually I'm highlighting only the very first part of the letter here because that's where the actual brust of air is contained within those letters. Okay, render this, zoom out. And let's hear. By letter such P or B. From the beginning. Plosive could be a lot of problem since they are generated by huge breast of sounds by letter such P or B. Night and day. And as you can see right now, I did use the, the plosive module, but in conjunction with another module. So again, there is not a set rule in stone that says if you have one problem, you have to use only one module. If you have one problem, as long as you know what each module does, you can use them in conjunction. So what I'll do right now is to zoom out, send it back into Pro Tools, render this, and let you hear the before. Plosive could be a lot of problem since they are generated and the after. Explosive could be a lot of problem since they are generated by you. And this was the deplosive module. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Ciao.